On Jenna Nava was extremely loved and her family and friends say she loved them right back. Now they want to see justice in her death and give her children closure. Jenna Nava's favorite job was being mom. Her kids were her life. Uh, her friends and family, anyone who encountered her, loved her. The 35-year-old would do anything for her kids, family, and friends. She was loved by everyone, and everyone that she came came around was loved, you know, loved her. Um, of course, I loved her, loved her very much. Um, but yeah, she touched a lot of hearts. On January 25th, police say they were called to her apartment after 10 p.m. Family says three of her four daughters were home at the time. Another adult was in the apartment. They saw what led up to it, and then they were sent to the room and to call 911. When police got to the apartment, they found Nava shot. She died before they could get her to a hospital. I was afraid for them. Uh, you know, obviously, there was things could have been a lot worse than what had happened, and um, you know, had had. They wanted to do more they could have, and thank God they didn't. Um, so I was a, I was afraid for them, and also afraid for what they been what they went through. Her friends say Jenna always helped take care of their kids, and now they want to make sure her daughters are safe and see justice. All we can do is be there for them. Um, it's tough because they're so young, and I don't think they really processed it yet, but. It's, it's going to be a long road ahead of us. Kansas City Police says there are no arrests in the case. Her family is asking anyone with information to reach out to police. They believe they know who did this to Jenna, and police are trying to tie up loose ends. It shouldn't have happened. She should be here with us. She should be here with our daughters. Jenna was always helping people, and, you know, even though people can be bad in the world, do what you can to help others. So I spoke with the Jackson County Prosecuting Attorney's Office this afternoon about the case. They say police did send Jenna's case to them, but they sent it back, citing a need for more evidence. So if you have any information that could lead to an arrest in this case, you're asked to call the tips hotline and you can remain anonymous. Sheree Honeycutt, Fox 4, working for you.